In this video, I will show you how to update your system. You are probably more than familiar with how Windows can be annoying and counterproductive with its updates. Especially those don't turn off your computer screens which can take one or more eternities. One eternity later. Well, Linux does its updates much less painfully. No matter how much you update, you'll never have to restart your computer. Here are the commands for updating the Linux OS from the terminal. Of course, you can use Graphical Update Manager. But we are here to learn how to do all those things from terminal. Which will make you step closer to becoming an expert in using, and administrating, Linux-based workstations and servers. sudo apt update apt is a command line interface for the package management system. To put it simply, you use it for installing, removing and updating software and OS itself. After the update finishes its work, use sudo apt upgrade. You can add option Y, after the upgrade command, to avoid being prompt for inputting it later. If you haven't updated your system in a while, then this might take some time. Although, not a few eternities, like with Windows would. And, plus, you can continue with your work while the update is being done in the background. Just keep the terminal window open. Use Auto Remove, and Auto Clean options, to clean up leftovers from previously installed packages. Some people differentiate between apt and apt-get, commands. They do the same thing here. The output is just different. You'll use apt-get only if you want to type 4 characters longer command for the same function. Note that these commands are not universal for all Linux distributions. Considering that you are still learning, it is easy to assume that you are using distribution which is based on Debian, Ubuntu, or some of Ubuntu derivatives. Elementary OS, Zorn OS, or maybe you are using the same one I'm using here, the Linux Mint. These commands are for these systems and their derivatives. There are other Linux operating systems which use different commands, like Fedora, Arch, CentOS, Gentoo, etc. We'll cover those in later lessons. For now, you are good to go with these, and are practically entering the administration zone. Good luck!